Yeah, I'm finally talking about Lifesteal, the deadliest SMP. Today, one of their members, Rochambeau, attempted to breach the most secure vault on the server, guarded by entire walls of withers, TNT landmines, wardens, and all this just to protect the dragon egg in the center. Looking at all the security, I'd have to say one out of four. Uh, that's not a rating, that's the number of walls. Why, yes, that is the final room over there, and yes, this bridge does lead from the final room to the outer islands. Don't worry, guys, Minecraft wouldn't add a feature that instantly teleports you to the other side of a void gap. Oh hey, I wonder where this bridge leads. So if you don't know, in the prison community, lifesteal is synonymous with, oh no, what did they do this time? And we have our fun when they upload dumb traps and misunderstood exploits. But today, I don't even care if they're baiting me this time. You have to see why lifesteal, as one of the most influential SMPs, disappoints us a lot. And to those who say, oh, Ken, it's meant to be staged. We watch lifesteal for the story. That argument is not gonna age well today. The story begins as Rochambeau's team arrives at the base on flying machines, just before the wither wall defense activates. Two things you have to know about this heist. One, ender pearls and elytra are not allowed on the server as a whole, so that's why they don't use those. Two, Rochambeau knows his way around the base, so he knows every trap that's coming up. So, if you knew this wither spawning defense was coming up, what's the first move you would make to deal with it? I promise, whatever you're thinking is wrong. The first thing they do is manually activate the wither wall themselves. Yeah, the base has no guards, but there's this target block hooked up to all the wither skull dispensers. You can see it from behind later, no power source inputs it. So how does it turn on? Well, there's this interesting flaming projectile sticking out of the bullseye. How did that get there? Of course, the first step to breaking in is to voluntarily activate the first trap. Also, I keep showing you this clip to represent the withers spawning, but it's obviously not real. You can see the real base isn't wired with netherrack. In fact, half of it isn't wired at all. The wall is a 9x10 grid of wither statues, but the bottom five rows weren't wired in time. Only the ninth column even has dispensers, but they're just floating in space. Yet they still have entire rows of two skull withers waiting to be summoned, all with their pairs of skulls oriented the same way, leading me to assume they were probably world edited. I mean, maybe not. It's not like they care about the value of wither skulls anyway. The first four rows don't even dispense them. They dispense T TNT to make it look like withers are spawning. Only row 5 actually does anything, and it blows up 6 wither models and summons 3. The entire base spawns 3 withers, and they try really hard to make it look like more in the video. There's gonna be a wall of 100 withers. There'll be 3 that actually, like, target on us. Oh boy, whoever snuck in and rigged this base to not work sure did a great job not stealing all the free wither skulls. More for me, I guess. Now remember, only Rochambeau knows everything about this base, so he has to tell his team where to go next. After the withers die, he directs them towards the bottom of the wall. That's because if you're breaking in on your own, you might accidentally skip the next two defenses. Yes, this wither wall is only one block thick, and yes, it stays that way throughout the heist. Defense 2 is only 40 blocks tall and made of netherrack. It's a TNT minecart skulk trap, so you gotta mine a tunnel that evades all the explosives, or else you might take two hearts of damage. The next thing you have to do to successfully break into this base is find the one tunnel that conveniently leads into the next trap. Please don't eat chorus fruit in here, thanks. Trap 3 is regenerating cobblestone walls and a bottomless pit. You can't swim under them because it's the bottom of the world, and you can't mine around them because, um, uh, please? Please don't? Not that it matters. The cobble only regenerates every 1.5 seconds. It bud powers itself from the side, so sometimes it stops generating altogether, and one of the repeater clocks is on a chunk border. Stop putting clocks on junk borders. They break themselves. Not that that's unique here. Now you must take a very thin and noticeably vulnerable elevator up to defense number four. You can only progress past this point if you know the password, and only one member of the team knows it. You must drop the correct item into the hole to open the door, otherwise the whole room will explode, including the redstone that keeps the door closed. This is a test to see if Ro can truly trust this member of his team. Watto, can I really trust you to throw the correct password item? <gasps> no! You traitor! You've killed us all! Uh, oh, oops. Also hear me out, the existence of a password defense implies an intended answer, which implies the owner of the base is meant to get here. So do they also go through all the other defenses, or do they go around the defenses and then do the password room for fun? Anyway, defense 5 out of 6, we're almost done breaking into this blanket fort. This room is a maze of pressure plates, which is pretty bad because there's a warden under it. Oh, don't worry about that cobblestone, it's just a door that leads to the final room. Huh, I think I hear a warden. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Look, he likes it. Anyway, the fact that this room exists means the maze was obviously bait. I don't think anyone would actually be dumb enough to try and solve it. Actually, come back. Oh, okay, you want to be back. I'm not Careful, guys, you might accidentally drop the warden into the void. You know, the void that reveals you could have bridged to the final room at any time. Wouldn't want to show your audience that. Oh, never mind. Okay, so this is what it all comes down to. Bridging to the final room in the void, right next to the bridges used to build the base. The dragon egg itself sits in a room covered with string and sand on the floor. Below that floor are skulk sensors calibrated to detect any blocks broken or placed, causing the floor to fall and the dragon egg to fall with it. And you can't just bridge under it. There are several more of these detectors below that. Okay, so it detects if I break or place anything. Maybe if I'm really fast about this? Hang on, hang on, let me focus. <sighs> okay, 
Wait, why isn't it falling? So here's a lesson in parody. A pillar of redstone torches obviously alternates between powered and unpowered, except for the brief moment a signal passes through them, of course. To send a signal through it, you'd have to power one of the torches on the pillar. Correction, one of the torches that are on. We all know that powering a powered torch does nothing. So since powered and unpowered alternates, each set of skulks must input into a block with the same parity as all the others. As in, they're an even distance apart. Let's count. On, off, on, off, on, off. Oh no. Every other skulk sensor does nothing. Only one, three, five sends signals. Two, four, and six are broken. You can see it in the video. And if we count all the way to the top, we find the isolated seventh detector also powers nothing. Except I actually lied. They don't just power a burnt torch. They actively block signals from coming under them. If you placed a redstone block inside the trap that's meant to set it off, it disarms the entire thing. Who designed this? Okay, after the gang takes the egg, they find the developer bridge that leads out to the outer islands, presumably to the gift shop exit that says, thanks for playing, come back soon. Now to those people who say, Ken, it's intentionally scripted, it makes more sense if you know the story. I think I've been showing mercy by not explaining the plot of Rose's video. If you don't know, Rose Shambo is the one who built the entire base block for block, except these five blocks. He's been working on it for months. He built every hallway. He knows about the back entrance. Everyone's screaming that he wouldn't know about the maze shortcut or he didn't realize you could walk over to the first two defenses. You're all wrong. So what is the story reason he broke into his own base? Well, in the lore, he got killed by a player and just to summarize that ended up getting him banned from the server. He recently got unbanned, but nobody wants to be his friend. So to solve the problem of being socially isolated, here's the plan. Convince your enemy to let you build a base to contain the egg that they own. Build the entire base all by yourself because you're so lonely, except when you get help from an attack. Proceed to break back into your own base without using the built-in shortcut that you made with the group of friends you finally got back. Oh, Ken, don't you see? That's why all the redstone was broken. He made it broken on purpose so it would be easier to break in. Think about that for three seconds. Bro, I think I know why your character doesn't have any friends. You finally get a group of players to help you with something and you send them through a deadly obstacle course for what? For fun? You psychopath. Why do you guys even struggle to make traps on this server? Just call it a base and they'll volunteer head first. After all that, there's a final scene of revenge because every lifesteal video needs that. His enemy somehow manages to die here and now Rose life is back to normal. An otherwise really well paced and cinematic video, but this I have to criticize a bit. I can't choose who's popular, I can only encourage the popular communities in the Minecraft bubble we all share to hold themselves to better standards from my opinion. I don't mean to make this sound too serious, I know there are worse places to be on that totem pole right now. I don't want to dislike Lifesteal. Uh, yes I do, but I don't want to dislike them any more than I already do. Anyways, as a final treat, I had 60 people attempt to break into this base without telling them what it was at all, and this is their blind run. Enjoy. Guys. Please, get out of my way. Step away. Let me build my portal. Let's go, follow the torches. Head south. Go, 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 go. Can we appreciate, I'm sorry for your loss of speed bridging over the void. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh. Uh, no. Uh, interesting oh, daylight detectors. bridging block. Hey, I just want to let you know, I do love daylight detectors, but they are very, very delicate and break very quickly. It looks like you really they trust your teammates. That's good. Wait, yeah, wait, someone, give them wait, someone's That's trying, quick. wait, wait, look over here. Someone's trying to shoot it. No. <laughs> what? You're so oh, close, you fool. Don't shoot it! No, you fool! <laughs> they set off the trap! <laughs> you idiot! I love this! This is the best thing ever! Oh wait! No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, yeah. They're committed! Yeah. Ramazushi has gotten through. So has uh, Super Sid. Guys, this isn't fair. You're skipping the first defense. That's not allowed. Guys, guys no, wait, 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 stop, stop. Yeah. No, he's scaling down the wall with the extra blocks again. <laughs> Get out of oh, my, geez. out of bounds of my base. Oh, no, 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 the wither, it got him. Wait, this is not going as smoothly as we expected. Wait, news, news slipped by, I didn't even notice. This door? next room has a warden. Watch You're out. You're not gonna believe this, yeah. Wow. The, the warden is completely oblivious. Oh, no, oh, the He's mining out of the maze? <laughs> I cannot keep this bit up. Wait, the wither's after him. The only threat here has been the threat the players have caused to themselves. <laughs> no, 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 Robin, no, no! Yeah, no! For you! Oh Wait, News! God. News is alive! News is alive! Wait, he's still alive! Don't don't clutch with cobblestone. The wither can destroy that very easily. Wait, he's okay! He's okay! He, he is he is actually okay. If you make the wrong move here, you'll lose the dragon egg. These are rigged okay. to drop the sand, and the dragon egg is up there. You'll have to be very careful, News. I think one of them heard, but I think it's one of the defective ones. Defective? Did you say defective? Uh, what? Whoa, what? None of them are defective. Okay, well, Yoshi's I on top. Okay, a lot of people are here. The whole, the main squad has gotten here. They mined an opening in, but I think they're too afraid to drop, which I understand because it is made of sand. Okay, News has entered. If you obtain this dragon egg and you get out alive, team wins. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Yeah. Board Yoshi's here as well. <gasps> no! Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh, no. an update oh. cap. Oh. Oh. oh, it did drop. They got it. They got it. No, wait, 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 you fool! What? You fool! 
Why did they drop it? Why? He it's said out. whoops. They Oopies. said whoops. The base posed no threat. They just, <laughs> they just dropped it. Someone sabotaged it and broke the cobblestone. Canadian gonna debunk this for real. Duh. Lamau. This is gonna be in the video. Ha! No, it's not.